Hello everyone, Digfig here, and welcome. In this Borderlands 3 item overview video, we are going to be going over the Mind Killer, a legendary shotgun. Now, what makes this legendary is this red text here that says, I must not fear. Fear is the Mind Killer. Now, what is this reference from? According to the wiki, it is a reference to the Latani Against Fear from the 1965 novel, The Dune. I don't know if I said that first part right, but if you guys agree with this, let us know. And if you think it's from something else, let me know in the comments below, because I don't actually know. I'm just reading the wiki here. Now, what does it actually do for this gun? I am not 100% sure on this one. The wiki says it just makes it shoot nine pellets, which I can agree with. And it says it makes him shoot in a circle pattern with a dot in the middle, which I can agree with when you're hip firing. Now it says when you're zoomed in, it does a plus symbol, but I don't really see that when I zoom in. There's an effect in the center of the sound wave things because this drops off of uh, Mr. Uh, mouthpiece here. So it's just like his other SMG that has the pulsing effects. The gun does have this weird charge up thing, which I don't think does anything. The only possible thing I think charging this gun up does is maybe it increases the impact stat of this gun, but that's a hidden stat that we can't see on anything. I've done a lot of testing on Sanctuary and other things where you can just get really accurate damage numbers, and no matter what you charge this thing up to, it does exactly the same damage as if you just click it. Um, so it's actually a metal gun with almost no charge up time. If you're just clicking, it just shoots normally, which is kind of cool because that's different. So I guess that could technically be added into the legendary effect. If you guys know anything else about this gun that I don't know or that I missed, please let us all know in the comments because we would love to learn and be educated on it. Now, for the way the gun looks, um, I like it. I like the black and red skin, but I think it's not because this is a uh, legendary. It just looks cool. Um, I don't see anything specifically unique or special about this being a legendary. But overall, the gun doesn't look too bad the way I rolled it. Um, I always still think these look like a pair of ski goggles or like night vision goggles. Some weird kind of goggles. It's just off-putting to me. I'm going get into my personal thoughts and over here, and I'll start off by backing all the way up here. And you guys can see the pill put up. Pill pellet spread. That was really, really hard for me to say. Um, that is definitely the circle when you're hip firing it, but when you zoom in, it's really, really hard with the recoil and stuff to make out exactly what the pattern is and that effect there. So that again is what the wiki says makes this thing special. Now, as for like damage wise and stuff, um it's it's not great. I'm not a super fan of it. Um, we can charge this thing all the way up. And like you can hear it has sound effects for being charged up. And I did stagger the thing when I charged it up. But I staggered it when I didn't charge it up too. I just, I really, really cannot figure out exactly what it does. But either way, the magazine size on this thing is respectable. The rate of fire is really, really good for a Malawan gun. Because usually you have to charge them up and like all the other stuff. For this one, you can just point and pull the trigger. Um, the spread pattern of this thing is amazing. You can use it at actually like medium and long ranges because of its pattern. Beautiful for that aspect. Um, I don't know. It's not a bad gun. Up in Mayhem 3, it started off really, really rough. Like I just was not working well with this gun. But I was still trying to figure it out. But once I learned that you didn't have to charge it up and that charging up didn't really do much, you can see our Blood second everywhere. attempt in the Mayhem 3 gameplay that I'm talking about here, which is a link down below. Um, we actually were able to clear the first wave with relative ease, and I was kind of impressed by it. Um, I do think it drops off. I think if you were min-max for this, it would be even better with some Malawan damage or some Malawan reload or charge-up speed. I think this gun would really, really shine and probably be actually in the viable category for Mayhem 3, surprisingly enough. Um, the wiki says this cannot roll in any elements. I have not seen it in any elements, so I have a tendency to agree with that. I'm just really impressed by the range that you can use this thing as a shotgun at and still do respectable damage. Um, at a little bit long range, not quite. In some of these thinner mobs, I guess you do miss some of your pellets. But we got a badass here, Deadly Goliath. He is going to kill me because I'm just face tanking him with the radiation. But he was easy to take down with this thing. We are in true Vault Hunter mode. What you got, buddy? And you are one-shotted. So, my overall opinion of this gun, guys, is it's fun to use. It's good. Um, I really, there's got to be some sort of effect to charging it up that I don't know about, or it's just to make the cool sound effects. It's really, really odd that they would put that in, and no one's really figured out exactly what it does yet. Um, I would say you could take this up into Mayhem 3 with proper modifiers and actually kill things quite well with it, especially if you're just a fan of the Malawan guns and you're looking for something really fun. Now, if you're looking to get one of these for yourself, I've got good news. You can actually target where this thing drops, and it drops off mouthpiece. So you're going to head on over to Pandera, 
You're going to go to Ascension Bluff, and then you're going to go over here. This is his little boss room. Um, we all have to fight him. He's part of that campaign. And you fight him again if you do the side mission for the VR thing. But he'll be right in here. Now, I will give word of warning. This thing for me was probably one of the hardest items I've farmed so far. I had to kill this guy more times than I would like to even talk about. So I really hope you guys have better RNG for this one. Um, I got like a bajillion of those blue SMGs while trying to get this thing to drop. But either way, guys, I wish you better luck. I really do appreciate you all stopping by and checking out this video. It really does mean a whole lot. The support has been amazing. And if you like this video appearing above me, there should be a playlist of a whole bunch of videos just like this. And if you like some of those, think about liking, subscribing, commenting, watching all my videos front to back to help my analytics, and just being an awesome member of the community overall, guys. And if you really, really like it all, I have another channel called DigFix Gaming where I do Let's Play videos. And another thing of that should be popping up right in the middle of the screen here sometime shortly because I like to talk too much. Um, you can go check out that channel. And as always, I will see you in the next episode. Dig out. This gun makes a lot of sounds. But it doesn't seem to do anything. This is like a Toys R Us gun. I don't, I don't know. It's got like lights and flashy things when you hold the trigger, but it doesn't do anything. I'm trying to figure it out, guys. I'll see ya.